Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Moon. Sorry, that might be a bit. Alright. Let's go ahead. We're going to the Dimensional Research Facility, apparently. As far as I know, there's not going to be that many battles up this way. But either way, I need the experience for a Pikachu. And I found out that I have an Eevee. Probably traded over at one certain time. So let's head on over. Go, Nappy! You, you splash! Hey, it's I guard. That's all. Uh oh. Ah, great. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Kyori. I am insulted! Also, hold on. Sorry, someone apparently texted me during the middle of a recording. Hold on, again he. You oh, you you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers, or thought that I w would want to be one myself. But when I see Kyori and how, it's like they're throwing op open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Waltz, 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 waltz. Oh! I heard everything. Wait, I heard nothing. Um, oh, Kyori, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. That there's a laboratory here here that studies the dimensions, did you know? So they study Garatina, Dialga, and Palkia. And the professor is waiting to meet you. Oh. How are your trials? It must be quite tired trying to do three in a row. Didn't do three in a row. It was no problem at all. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you, you to tackle all three three of us's island trials. Well, you all know I had problems with the grass one, but I was able to take care of that with a slight change. I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Pikachu there, I mean. <laughs> I forgot their speech changes every time I switch up the Pokemon in the front. That would have been a great way to introduce Pikachu into the team. Save. Uh, I hate it when people interrupt my recording because then I have to start new ones. Because nothing on my devices know how to stop a recording. Uh, wait, I saw someone. I want to talk to this guy. He looks interesting. Dimensional research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings, rings to teleport itself through space. That sounds like a certain Pokemon we know. And his name, or its name really, is Hoopa. Which has six rings max. What floor would I like to go to? Well, I can't go to two apparently, so three it is. I never got that with this place. Yes, I played Sun. Deal with it. <laughs> Oh no! Hey there, honey! I'm trying to remember the voice. Oh, hi! This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah! And she's also my wife. You're a cure, right? Lily, t Lily told me about you. She said you were. You were, you were the reliable sort. Thank you. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bags, also unconscious. Hmm? No Haru today? Haru, he's out doing his own thing. But he'll be, be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Holy oh, wow! Well, yeah, I really do. 
Good to see you again, huh? It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Kyori here, here because I wanted you to tell her about some sort of the mysterious and I'm not here in Alola. I'd be happy to. What, that Pikachu turns to a psychic type when involving? Never got that. The mystery is of Alola, huh? Uh, I, the Ultra Wormhole! I didn't read the last part, sorry. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. Gee, I wonder what that sounds like. Totally can't be the spatial or dimensional holes holes that open up up in the Hoenn region. Region they catch some certain legendaries, huh? Can't be. It appears that this rift leads into a different and unknown dimension. Well then how do you know it's a dimension? Plot hole. The reason that people you know, think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends and fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. One happens to be there. It's very weak as proof. Proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence that already are in the Pokedex for existence of different dimensions, right? Palkia, Dialga, Garatina, Arceus. Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Worm home, home went, went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts. And they were feared. If stories are to be believed, the Guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. Really? They weren't that hard. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very ha happy if I could somehow uh, unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimension and all the disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions. In books, you can find them on the bookshelf. Elf in this lab. Well, I'm going to leave that here for today. Good amount of story. So I'll see you all in the next one.